Well, hello, friends, and welcome back to Seven Days to Die. We are on the morning of day four, and as you can see, I have done some work to the base over the evening. I went ahead and crafted us the storage crates. They are quite a bit larger than the starting storage chests, and you can label them, which is great. So we have a nice little storage system, as you can see here. Materials, food and seeds, meds and drink, stuff to sell to the trader, etc. And I also want to come into our forge and get a little bit of forged iron crafting out. We are going to be using that momentarily to craft an iron pickaxe. And we unlocked this recipe just moments ago by putting the one skill point that we got last night into Miner 69er. This is going to allow us to craft level 2 tools and unlocks all of the iron tools. So we could craft out some more uh, some more forged iron and wait till we get another level and craft level 3 pickaxe. But I just I want a pickaxe today. I just want to get that done. So let's get the forged iron that we have. Let's see what other materials I'm missing. Oh, we also forgot to craft these pocket mods. This is something, a recipe that you start off with, and it just helps open up some of your inventory. You can craft three, three of these and put them into your gear. So let's get those going. Let's see what else we need for the pickaxe. I'm guessing some leather and some duct tape. Yes, indeed. Let's grab three leather, three duct tape, and now we will have an iron pickaxe because I want to harvest some of that iron later today, uh, just because, you know, we need iron for everything. Also, we're going to start digging our mine shaft right down here tonight uh, after the horde is finished. So I think that takes care of everything at the base. Did I forget anything? Oh, we are also cooking out some more red tea. Almost forgot that, and I think that is it. So why don't we start by heading off towards this quest up to the northwest. And uh, if anything interesting happens along the way, you guys will know. Check in. All right, let's go ahead and throw these clothing pocket mods into our equipment. One, two, and three. And as you can see, that opens up inventory slots so we can carry more stuff while being less encumbered now, which is great. And there was something kind of amusing that I wanted to bring up right before I, that I was thinking about before I started recording today. Uh, so I've started this series quite a few times. I had to scrap a number of attempts due to uh, just like poor footage quality. And then I had two attempts that I had to scrap because I died early on, once on day one and once on day three. And so every time I've gone to record this series, which has probably been, I don't know, about five times now, uh, I always only did one recording session. I never got to a second recording session. So this is my first time finally sitting down for a second time recording. And... Ooh, funny. Well... You just made that too easy, little bunny. That was your own fault. Um, so, like, there's a whole new level of pressure. Not pressure in such a way that I'm not enjoying myself in any way. But playing on permadeath, it's like I put, I don't know, like, a good 15 hours into edit editing the first three episodes. And it's like, if I die now, all of that, you know, I wouldn't say it's wasted. But, you know, all of that goes away. All of that work I put in, you know, resets and I have to start over. So I just thought it was kind of interesting. Uh, the different vibe of a day one recording session versus a day two recording session. So as I was recording the first three episodes, I noticed that we picked up the cement mixer schematic on day one when we were looting Jen's little shop. And I looked into crafting one of those. Uh, we could get the materials today if that's what we were trying to do. And I was thinking about doing that. But you need a working workbench to actually craft the cement mixer. And we're a ways off from crafting our own workbench. So that's kind of unfortunate. I was kind of hoping to get an early cement mixer going. That would have been cool, but not a big deal. Just thought I'd mention that in case anybody else had noticed. But we are here. Let's, uh, let's take a peek inside here real quick. This POI, I love it. I call this like the lake house POI. Uh, this was the first group server I ever did with my roommates. This was our house, and you know, we were total noobs at the time, didn't know anything about the game. But we were just kind of wandering along, 
trying to figure the game out. We came across this place. We're like, oh, it's nice. So we took it over. We had a horde base over in that field over there, kind of behind that little red garage barn thing. And uh, a lot of good memories. We we went far with that playthrough and had a ton of fun. So I do kind of remember the layout of this place, but I haven't looted this in a long time since like Alpha 18. So we're gonna we're gonna have to go slow and be careful. Let's just grab all the goodies from the outside and then we'll poke our nose in the front door. Oh, we woke somebody up. That's okay. Hopefully they come to the front door over here. Nope, sounds like they're going to beat on the wall here. Let's see if we can find where they're trying to come through. We can just bash some faces through this hole that we made. Hi guys. Thanks for making it easy on me. Hey, man, seems like they died really, really quickly. All right, well, we're good. Well, we woke up somebody else inside. Might as well take this box apart, get some of these old electrical parts, and we'll find where they're trying to break through the wall and help them out. Throw down a couple frames. All right, I think we're all clear out here, and we've actually got a good start and clearing out the inside. It's just... Something tells me there's a zombie in that cupboard over there. Or that wardrobe, whatever you want to call it. Let's just open the doors like this. Alright. Not necessary, but, you know, permadeath, play it safe. It's my philosophy. Is this a plug? Looks like a plug. It is a plug. Who keeps their purse in the wall? What is this? All right, just a lot of glass jars there and a tiny bit of iron. Let's go ahead and take apart all of these kitchen appliances for the electrical parts. Anybody home? Hello? Let's break this painting, see if that wakes anybody up. I think we're clear in here. Uh, anybody in there? Nah, we're good. Let's take apart this furniture for the leather. I think I saw a ceiling fan above us. Got a friend trying to come through the wall here. They're just making it easy on us today. Oh, construction zombie. That's why he was breaking through so fast. These boys hit hard. All right, he did. Let's see what's in the purse. A little bit of cash, a little bit of paper. Uh... Can you put frames? No, you can't put frames in front of doors like that. <laughs> Just thought that might be a fun idea. Let's break this garbage. Put a frame right there. Nope, we're clear. Medical supplies. Painkiller is excellent. Always a good find. Some murky water. We might throw that out. Might keep it. We'll see. We'll take this light apart. Looks like we got a plug over here as well. A level 5 stone hammer. Shame we're not using hammers. We could put three modifiers in that. And let's see if we got any friends in here. No. This has been surprisingly easy so far. Knock on wood. Oh, we found some meat stew in that refrigerator. We got... Plus 50 food, 25 health, 20 water, and 20 to max stamina for a... I'm not actually sure how long that buff lasts. Should tell you, but that's a real good find right there. Some vitamins, excellent. All right, I'm guessing we're going to have some friends up here. We were able to clear out all of the downstairs. Oh, I see a foot. Uh, I think we're just going to wake him up and run. Need to find a doorway. This will work. Throw some frames down. He should come follow us. I'm hoping he doesn't drop down behind us. What's going on up there? He coming? I hear them breaking things. Which I don't particularly like. I don't like it, but I'm going to head upstairs. See if I can figure out what's going on here. Breaking out the window. Ah! 
Holy shit. Oh, buddy. That's just plain rude. All right, we're chilling. We're chilling. Let's crouch down. Pop this open. Clear. Yeah, so I guess he dug his way out the window. Uh, did not expect that to happen. Sounds like we got a vulture outside. Hi! Whoa! Asshole. Um. We'll go down there and see if he still hasn't despawned. Once we finish clearing this place, I'd like to get the bones, but... I don't want to run all the way around just for some bones. Got some soup. Oh, maybe you're meant to go out this window. That door is locked. Oh, that's interesting. This takes us right into the main loot room. Let's break that. Throw a flame frame... A, a frame... Let's throw a frame block right there. And open this guy up. Yeah, we got some... We got some friends over here for sure. Let's try and get a headshot. And another headshot before he wakes up. And this is kind of awkward, but I think we can make it work. Get back up there like you did. That was working. Come on. Come on, jump. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay, we're good. Oh, please die. All right. Kenny's still running around. He's, he's going to do his thing. So why don't we get in here, throw another frame block down. And, uh, you know, if he gets to us, then we'll deal with him then. and see what's in the main loot. Oh, we got some okay mods. We got a little bit of a knife upgrade. I think I'll scrap that for the iron. Uh, nothing bad. Yeah, 120 iron. I'll take that. I'm tempted to use these iron arrows, but I just kind of want the iron right now. Let's turn the bone into bones. And let's put that serrated blade mod on our knife. That's just going to make it do a little bit more damage. And we can put these muffled connectors on our leggings. That's going to make us move just a little bit more quietly. Nothing wrong with that. Let's take this bed apart and see what else we've got to loot. Whoa, that is a lot, a lot of parts. Holy shit. I have never seen this many parts in one crate before. And I mean, that was just a single like cardboard box. That wasn't even like the main loot of something. Holy shit. Okay, that's awesome. Uh, this Once this stuff finishes up, we'll get some of this out of our inventory. But let's check this last room. Deal with Kenny, wherever he ended up. And then get out of here. Hey, there's Kenny. Let's get this garbage out of the way. Throw a block down just to be on the safe side. Open the door for our friend. Give him a nice warm greeting. That's the way you gotta do it. And something tells me there is something behind our friend's face here. And there is. That is the fourth hidden purse I found in this place. Somebody really liked to hide their purses around here. And last but not least, the satchel which we came here for. Totally missed that hiding under a plug. Ah, I think that's gonna do it for this place. So we need to get back to Jen, turn in our reward. And I actually found some steroids, which I think I'm going to use because we got, you know, a 700 meter run. And we are a bit encumbered. And this means I noticed there was a little POI uh, over. Well, you'll see it when we get there. The point is there's a smaller POI up ahead. And because we can't be encumbered, I think we're going to stop there real quick. Just do a quick smash and grab, get the main loot and get out. Alright, here's the place I was talking about. Sort of this watchtower, maybe military style place. I don't know. I don't know what they were going for with this, but the loot's right up there. It's a pretty, pretty small POI. This guy's mad, but I don't know what he's doing, to be honest. He's about to die. That's what's going on. Alright, easy peasy. 
And I've noticed we've gotten to a point where we can like four shot zombies now, which is real nice. Real, real nice. Four feels a lot better than five. Because if you miss once, you're not completely screwed. Let's take apart these lamps. We've already got a little bit of steel and electrical parts, so we're not losing any inventory space by not doing this. Alright, we have a dumpster right there, so if things get hairy, we can just jump on top of the dumpster, and we should be fine. Let's just try and deal with our friends one at a time. Oh, get dunked on, weeb. Is there anybody else down here? Yep. I'm not sure if that's just Kenny, or if he's got friends, so we're just going to jump straight up here. So we can assess the situation a little bit more closely. You guys are really dumb, aren't you? Come on. Stop breaking that cobblestone. I want that. Fall down. Stay down. Easy. Alright, I think we're all clear down here. There's going to be like four more up by the main loot, so let's dig up all this goodness real quick. the hell is happening down there? Got a cheerleader causing problems, I guess. Huh. All right, but we gotta hurry. We're burning daylight. I can't seem to remember where the entrance to this place is, so I'm thinking we're just gonna make our own. Alright, they're up. Hopefully they're going to come straight over to me. We can take care of them through this hole. Make sure nothing is about to break. Let's reload the bus. Hey! That's rude. Die, please. Shit, this is taking longer than I expected. Uh, we are going to be encumbered soon which is unfortunate. Please give me some water. Oh, okay, that is a really good find right there. I'm just going to drink both of these to save room in the old inventory. I'm just going to start by looting everything in here, but we are going to unfortunately have to sort through our inventory and throw some stuff out because trying to run all the way back to Gen Jen's this encumbered just isn't going to be an option. Oh, bandolier mod, 100% worth it just for this. And we got some shotgun parts, which is fantastic. We're going to want to craft... And we found some other shotgun parts today. That gives us four of the five shotgun parts that we need to craft our pump shotgun. At least the first one. Throw the bandolier mod on our legs. Turn that one glue we found into duct tape to open up an inventory slot. Let's pop into the shotgun messiah crate. More ammo. And we can scrap those for the leather. Let's check these lockers. We can turn that into leather, we can turn that into plastic parts if we had room in the inventory, which we will in a moment. Alright, we are at 11 encumbrance. I don't want to throw anything else out. I like all the stuff that we have. So we're going to try and make it back to the base, being this encumbered. We're only about 300 meters away, which isn't too bad. But first things first, we need to get back down to ground level, deal with this cheerleader who's been wreaking havoc, although she might have just dealt with herself on those spikes, which amuses me. <laughs> Stupid. Uh, let's go deal with this crawler and then just run our cute little butt back to Jen's. Oh, ho, ho, ho. ergonomic grip mod schematic. This, in my opinion, is the best grip mod in the game. Uh, let me just pull that up real quick. It does uh, decreases melee stamina usage by 10% and increases the weapon handling uh, by 10%. So, you know, rather than like increasing its durability or something, it actually makes it much more combat effective to have that on a weapon. And you could put it on tools like wrenches and pickaxes and shovels to decrease the stamina cost so you can mine for longer before you run out of stamina. So that's fantastic. Those, however, take forged steel to make. 
springs, mechanical parts, and glue. Shit, if we had a workbench, we could actually get one of those crafted. Uh, but we don't have access to a workbench yet, but once we do, you bet your boots I'm going to be crafting like three or four of those. Hi, Jen. Don't spend it all in one place. But Let's see, Night Stalker, Melt Into the Shadows and Sneak 5% Better at Night. Man, some of these Night Stalker books are so, so good for Horde Every Night, and some of them are absolutely worthless. This is now the second one that we found uh, that is absolutely worthless, which is unfortunate. But we can still sell that for 110. Let's see if we got a quest we can do. 360 like meters away, I away clear I zombies, sounds good to me. Let's go ahead and... Her inventory reset today. So why don't we go buy these sugar butts right here. Let's eat those, sell all of our stuff, check through her stuff, see what we're going to be buying, and uh, go from there. All right, 2,400 coin for one day's work seems pretty good to me. Right off the bat, I see a bunch of cobblestone for dirt cheap. Let's buy all of that. Let's take these painkillers, this first aid bandage. As tempting as it is to buy armor upgrades, they're just too expensive. Let's see what's on page number two. Nail gun schematic. You know, we were going to buy this anyways. Uh, this was one of the items that we gave ourselves. Well, we actually gave ourselves the option to buy a nail gun, whereas this is the nail gun schematic. So I'm going to hold off on this for now. Normally, that would be an easy buy. But we're just going to buy the straight nail gun when we have the coin for it. Which we have now, but I'm not ready to buy one yet. I'd rather get the motorcycle first. Uh, she's got shotgun shells, which I would like to buy, but it's not a huge priority. This looks like the stuff we just sold her. Let's check her secret stash. Level 1 AK. That is tempting. That is very, very tempting. Now, we've been selling all of our 762, but, you know, we find it on a fairly regular basis. Hmm, that is tempting. Only 320? I'm going to think about that. I'm uh, going to pick up this wood splitter mod. We can throw that in our axe and just make it better. Bandolier mod schematic. This is really nice, but we found our bandolier mod today, so we don't need that. Uh, if I didn't mention it before, bandolier makes you reload faster by like 30%, so it's pretty substantial. I could pick up this other gravedigger mod and just throw it in like our wrench or something to make our wrench hit harder, so I think I'll do that. And steel boots. These are real nice, but they're only better. level one. Let's see what we're rocking on our feet right now. Cloth boots? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Let's pick up those steel boots. And we can always scrap them and turn them into steel parts later on. And gosh, for only 320, I'm going to pick up this AK. We don't have a real gun yet, and that's just too good of an opportunity to miss. I don't think she had... Unless I miss something. I don't think she has anything else I'm super desperate to buy. Which means... All the coin we save up for the next three days, we should be able to put towards the motorcycle fund, which is nice. Uh, so let's head home. I'm going to grab some iron on the way and uh, do a little bit more reinforcing on the base. All right, let's put our fancy new pickaxe to use and start digging up some of this iron. I'm just going to put a couple blocks right here just in case I need to get up to a safe space very quickly. So we actually managed to get a really good amount of iron today. We got 1300, which is very nice. We got over a thousand cobblestone, which is also very nice, in addition to what we had. So why don't we get some of this iron smelting down? And maybe a bit more clay. You can never have too much clay in the old forge. Throw some wood in there. Eh, maybe a bit more. Let's get that going for about 20 minutes. Now let's go around and do some upgrading. Alright, looking good. All the way around our home is now reinforced cobblestone all the way to the roof line. Let's pop this hatch up, because we are going to have some company very, very soon. Let's go ahead and eat just a little bit of food, get that bonus stamina going. Drink a little bit of some red tea. And we've got plenty of cobblestone and iron to repair the walls and hatch as needed tonight. 
Let's get the rest of this red tea sorted in. Throw that in there. This is cooking down just fine. Get some more bars crafting out. And you know what? We actually had a level. I wish I'd taken the time to look. Do we have anything offensive we could pick up for tonight? I don't think so. I'm just going to have to think about what I want to put that level in. And we'll figure it out in a little bit. Maybe Lucky Looter? Uh, we'll see. <laughs> I also noticed something really annoying while I was recording. Uh, you kind of, at least I like to turn up the speed, you know, for this part, because it's, it's kind of slow just sitting here beating zombies in the face. But I normally do this weave forward and back thing. It's just, I don't know why I do it. It's just the way I fight zombies, right? Uh, but when it's on really fast speed, when, you know, the speed is turned up by like 15% or 15 times, it looks really terrible. <laughs> so I'm going to try and hold still more when, uh, when we're just doing those scenes where I'm just beating zombies in the head over and over again. ammo for the blunderbuss. I don't want to use it anymore. I like to have that as a little backup when we're looting places. Man, it just feels so boring. Not like normally, you know, I melee until I run out of stamina and then I switch over to my blunderbuss while well, the stamina regens, but not being able to use the blunderbuss, I feel like I'm just standing there staring at the zombies like, hey guys. Okay, you just do your thing. I'll be with you in a minute. done already? Man, after last night, I was expecting to be here for quite a bit longer. I think that night three horde was just kind of a fluke. Alright, cool. And we got a loot bag. Let's see what we got. Big money, big money. Uh, we got an axe upgrade and 200 coin. That is not bad. It's a hell of a lot better than when you find like one bottle of water and you're like, really? <laughs> So let's throw our axe mod in there, and we can actually put a second modifier in there. Uh, do we want to do that? I think I kind of like the spread that we have going on right now, except maybe... I don't think this serrated blade can go in anything else, but if it can, I would rather have it in my axe. That's going to upgrade our block damage, whereas the block damage of our bone knife is by far the most negligible of any of our tools. So yeah, I would rather have that over here. And does that mod actually... 10% chance to cause a bleeding wound on a regular attack. And I'm 99% sure that we can't put that in our club. It has to be on something with a edge to it. Yeah. So the axe, that is fine. We're going to leave that in the axe, get a little bit more block damage out of it. And uh, yeah, as for the rest of the night, I'm going to start digging a little hole right here, a little mine shaft. And once we get down a ways, we're going to start tunneling our way over to the east, try and find our iron over there, and that way we can mine iron safely during the night time. And uh, yeah, and we're going to get a ton of stone in the process. Stone is going to be super important for making concrete or cement. Well, cement and concrete, uh, which is what we're going to use to reinforce our base beyond cobblestone. So that's what I'm going to be working on for the next couple hours in game. And uh, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And uh, I will see you here next time. Bye.